here it is, Easter morning. Now I've been up since four o'clock when I had to get up in order to drive here to be early to set up for the sunrise service so that we could gather to worship and then there was that three hour gap. So all of you late risers, welcome. <laughs> it's good to see you. And I would like to clue you in this morning on the real, true meaning of Easter. <laughs> now, I don't know if you're like me, but from the time I was just a little guy, the real, true meaning of Easter <laughs> were eating the ears. <laughs> that's a little bit less <coughs> that's a little more stick with us instead of just stick to our teeth. In my weekday job, I'm a hospital chaplain. And I gather with people who are journeying through illness and death with their loved ones. Maybe the true meaning of Easter comes there to those places where there's no hope, where people find strength in their faith to get them through, even if through means entering into God's eternal care. I think that's better than bunny ears. <laughs> but you know, if, if our approach to Easter only goes so far as to thinking of eternal life and resurrection, I think we've still maybe missed something. I mean, not that that's not good, but if Jesus' resurrection only gives us hope of the other side of our death, we really have missed something, because we are called to live as an Easter people, so that Christ's resurrection makes a difference in how we live each day. Now this morning we began with the music of Holy Week, journeying with Jesus from the Last Supper that he shared with his disciples onto the cross, and ultimately to resurrection. And we can't celebrate resurrection without remembering the cross. We can't celebrate the good news of eternal life without celebrating Jesus' courage and willingness to face death itself and to live as a man of integrity who is following God's holy call. As we journey with Jesus into resurrection, let us remember that we must journey with Jesus through our lives as well, doing the work of justice and mercy reaching out in love to those who are most in need of a tender touch. For our faith calls us not to just be people who come together on Sunday morning to tell the story of Jesus raised from the dead 2,000 years ago, but calls us to be people who journey forth from this place with the living, resurrected Christ alive in our lives and in our hearts. It calls us to not only gather at the table to share the body of Christ, but to live as the body of Christ. And so this morning, as we celebrate the good news of Mary Magdalene going to the tomb and finding it empty, we find that that good news resonates for us today. As we find the empty tomb giving us power, for each day's life. Let us then, as God's people, celebrate the good news of Christ's resurrection. Alleluia! Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Alleluia! <laughs> 